What's going on guys, Vic GSC here, back with another video. Today we are going to be heading over to get the car dynoed. Um, we're going to Jamie Marsh. He's going to be tuning the car. Um, a lot of people probably already know who he is. And uh, know this guy knows what he's doing and he's going to make some power. Um, hopefully we run into no issues and um, everything goes smoothly. But once I get there, I will update you guys and you guys will see what's going on with the GST. We'll see you then. All right, guys, so we're here at the dyno. Um, a couple other people are going to be getting tuned. So uh, I'll show you some video of that, see how that goes. And uh, I'm just going to wait our turn. So let's see. Alright guys, so what you're seeing right here is um, basically I had a base map set up for the car um, just so I could drive it, break it in, make sure I had no leaks anywhere and uh, make sure the car was ready for dyno. I had someone set this up for me um, and the way they set it up was basically so I couldn't go past a certain RPM which was around like 5500 to 6000 and um, Jamie was just trying to figure out what they did um, with the tune that was kind of holding it back from uh, getting into boost. So they basically set it back so I couldn't get into boost and I want to blow the car up. So that's what you're seeing right here in the previous clip.
so I am pumped. The car is finally dynoed. That's right, it's dynoed. So if you want the sauce, come see me. Come see me. Not me. Cars aren't that bad. But definitely down for some runs. Um, the car made 480 wheel horsepower. I was saying it was gonna make 460 wheel horsepower, which it did. And I was really hoping for 500 horsepower, but um, I had a small issue that kind of held me back, which was my fuel system. Um, so what I have for a fuel system right now is basically just a thousand cc injectors and an end tank, uh, end tank wall row 450, and um, the injectors really just held me back. I'll probably end up doing down the road. I'm not going to probably do it too soon. Want to enjoy the car a little bit, do some pulls, let you guys see how the car reacts. I didn't get too much footage of that, so in a later video, you guys will see how the car reacts. Um, so um, basically, I don't know, car turned out well. We didn't have too many hiccups. It broke up a little bit. Jamie figured it out in seconds, and um, that's about it. That's about it. I am psyched. I'm pumped. I'm happy the car's done. It's a relief, honestly. It really is a relief. It feels great. Um, I'll be doing some pulls for you guys, probably in a later video, like I said, so you guys can see how it did. Um, by the time we got out of here, it's pretty late. It's about, you know, 12 o'clock, almost midnight. And um, I'm just happy, guys. I'm just happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And then also comment down below what you think of this build and what you think um, what do you think of the dyno video what do you guys think of the horsepower it made do you think it's too low do you think it should have made more power or do you think it sounds reasonable um, car was pushing about 28 um, kind of peaked off almost to like 30 pounds of boost and uh, made 480 horsepower so i'm probably going to do next i'm probably going to do a surge tank with another pump probably like a 450 or i don't know some big old pump will throw in the surge tank and then um probably get bigger injectors we'll probably just go with like 2000s 2150s or something like that and just call it a day so we don't have any more fuel issues and um we just did what we could today and I'm satisfied with it. I knew my weakness of my car. I knew this might have been an issue and would hold me back from making more power, but truly I'm okay with it. It's on pump gas, 93. I know on pump gas, if I give it more fuel, it will make pretty good power over 500 horsepower. Like I have no doubt in that. Um, in the future, I'm thinking about maybe also running E85. I know if I do run E85, this is a 600 horsepower car. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And um, I hope you check out more of my videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.